Now let's look at the, the last big piece of the jigsaw, algebraic constraints. In simple terms, the ability to use al algebraic constraints kind of gives you a fairly powerful calculator right inside MicroStation. But <coughs> in, in reality, this opens up and brings so many possibilities to to a dimension driven de design solution the, the possibilities are almost endless you know um it brings it means you can do almost anything with dimension driven design solution it's only limited by your imagination so let's look at doing some very basic types of algebraic constraints we can um we can do abstract calculations without even having them related to designs or or dimensions so let's do something very simple first. Let's say um, length is equal to height multiplied by width. Sorry, I, I should do something a bit more obvious. Let's say area is equal to height multiplied by width. Let's say we know the height and the width. So we say height is equal to 10 and the width is equal to 20. Now, what we're doing here is we're telling MicroStation when we're using the equal sign, remember that I said that means MicroStation will set the value, and if we omit the equal sign, MicroStation will get the value. So what I want to do now is I want to get the value for area. So I'm just going to type in area with no values and no equal sign. And we're going to instruct MicroStation now to get that value. What we need to do to do this is use this icon here called assign equation. And we just simply click on all the um all the variables that are going to be used and it will automatically do the rest for us. So we click on the equation itself. Then we click on the variables that are part of that equation. We need to click on everything. Once we've identified them all, accept in space and then reset to finish. And we can see here it's instantly done it for us. Height is equal to 10, width is equal to 20, area is equal to 200. And if I modify any of those values, if the height was equal to 15, the area is now equal to 300. It's as simple and as easy as that. But we have so much more power available to us. If I go back into the help for a second, because I really couldn't possibly go through all of these things that are available to us. Administrator guide, workspaces, building custom projects, and dimension driven cells. I'll scroll all the way down here. And we get to algebraic expressions. So we know that it uses standard grammar for algebra and we can have a little look at that there and we can look at all then what I want to go to here is the operators available to us so we have arrhythmic negation cosine sine tan a cos a sine a tan square root we have exponents so we can do any kind of scientific numbers equals obviously one of the most important ones, modulo. I still haven't come across a use for that. It, uh, apparently it is very handy, but um, I haven't had a use for it in any of my microstation designs so far. Uh, division, multiplication, subtraction, addition. So they're all there. We also have a, a built-in constant of pi. And you might have noticed before, the keyword deg is used when we use, when we assign a variable to an angle, which measures in degrees. So all of those are available. So it's a pretty powerful calculator with everything that we could need. So let's do something a little bit more practical. Let's maybe assign something with um with some constraints and constructions. Let's say I have three points on a line. And I constrain them on the line. fix one of them 
and put a dimension for the overall length and the dimension for the length of the first point and again for the next one Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask MicroStation to return this value here. I'm going to set the overall length of the line and I'm going to set the first dimension and I'm going to ask MicroStation to, to return this li line here, the length of this distance here. So let's give it some names and some variables. Overall LEN GTTH and A and Lent B. This is just going to show some basic querying of, of values. So I'll assign those variables. Should use this too. I'm going to make that a constant. To set that as a, a constant value. I'll assign the first dimension as length A. Make that a constant. And I'm going to assign the last one length B. And that doesn't need to be a constant because it's it's well defined. <coughs> So let's put in some values. I say the overall length is 60. The initial length is 30. So that means the second one will be 30. That's just a basic example of a similar kind of idea as, as with my first example, except it's not abstract, it's related directly to a design. Um, as I say, I can't, I couldn't possibly go through all the examples of how this can be used, but I'll do a couple of common examples. <coughs>